Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the Cadaver Synod. The Pope is the spiritual head of the Roman Catholic Church. The institution of the papacy has a history that stretches back nearly 2,000 years. During that time, there have been several popes who were pious and holy men, but there were many who were not. The history of the papacy is full of tales of corrupt popes enriching themselves, appointing their illegitimate sons as cardinals, or excommunicating and waging war against political enemies. But perhaps the strangest episode in papal history occurred in the 9th century during the reign of Pope Stephen VI. In 897, Stephen, in a rage of hatred for one of his predecessors as pope, had the body of Pope Formosus disinterred and put on trial. The story of the Cadaver Synod emerges out of the complex political situation of medieval Europe. Popes and princes competed for power and authority, and wealthy families held tremendous political sway. During the pontificate of John VIII, Formosus had been a bishop and successful missionary who had spread Christianity among the Bulgar kingdoms of Eastern Europe. But Formosus' success inflamed the jealousy of many in Rome, including the Pope, who in 876 excommunicated the bishop on the claim that Formosus was openly aspiring to be Pope, among other charges. Formosus returned to Rome in 882 after Pope John's assassination and was restored to his position within the church. Over the next nine years, as three different popes ruled over the church, Formosus grew more influential and in 891 was himself elected pope. As pope, Formosus struggled to maintain the independence of Rome and the church from the power of the Holy Roman emperors. Though popular among the people of Rome, Formosus made many political enemies. When he died in 896, Rome was caught in a power struggle between powerful foreign armies. Formosus' immediate successor, Boniface VI, reigned for about two weeks before dying, and then the papal tiara passed to Stephen VI. Stephen quickly maneuvered to gain favor with Formosus' political adversaries and had his predecessor's remains removed from their grave. Then the corpse was dressed in papal vestments, seated on a throne, and put on trial, accused of the offenses for which Formosus had previously been excommunicated. A deacon was appointed to speak for the dead pope, but, unsurprisingly, the defense was ineffective and Formosus was condemned. As punishment, Formosus was posthumously stripped of his church titles. His papal degrees and investitures were declared invalid. Three fingers were cut off of his right hand, and his body was thrown into the Tiber River. The obscenity of the trial did, however, turn the Roman public against Stephen, and he was soon deposed, imprisoned, and eventually strangled. As for Formosus, his body was recovered from the river and eventually given a proper burial. Today, his remains are interred in the crypt below St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.